Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Rob and today we will take a very brief look at configurations. I do realize that the frequency in which configurations are utilized varies widely from company to company and project to project, but there's one small feature that many people overlook which I think is worth pointing out so that when the time comes to use configurations you can be just a little bit more proficient. I'm going to cheat here just a little bit and use a part with multiple configurations that some of you may have already seen as it's covered in the SolidWorks Essentials class, so don't fault me too much for that. But anyways, let's get to the point. Let us first activate the configuration 200S. Once in this configuration, we can double click on a feature to see the dimensions that were used in the sketch to create this feature. Now this in itself is not unique to configurations, but once we've modified uh, a dimension or created a new one, you may not have noticed that we actually have a small dropdown present within the dimension pop-up. You can see that here. If we click that dropdown, you can see that we have the ability to apply this dimension change to this active configuration, to all configurations, or we can specify uh, which configurations we'd like to apply it to. So for this example, let's change the height of this cut to be 50 and apply it to this current active configuration and to configuration 300S. Let's rebuild the model to make sure that the changes have taken effect. Now this probably isn't too mind blowing since you've used configurations um, and so you've seen these same options present within the property manager. Um, you can see that right here on the left hand side. But using this dropdown has the potential to save just a little bit of time and, and a few less mouse clicks and movements. So I hope this little tidbit is something that you may be able to take advantage of next time you're working with configurations. And uh, thank you again for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.